years later, some two-year-old was teaching it on the internet. He started to watch my video. Welcome to the Global Child Prodigy Awards and here we have Einstein of a time and uh, a quick introduction of yourself please. Hi, my name is Sabuto Isaac Berry. I'm seven years old. Okay, th th that was a short introduction, so let's just go deeper in there because uh, let's just start with your achievements. So at six months to nine months old, he started speaking, so wh that's when his parents realized that he was actually prodigious. And he started writing books, he's written about terrorism uh, in a recent publication. So would you like to talk more about your book? The main of idea of my book is focused on the topic of a Muslim child struggle okay. to create a world without terrorism. And that Muslim child is me, as it says on the back cover of the book. All right, so it is about his struggle as a Muslim child to fight against terrorism. And what inspires you to fight against terrorism? I've heard about a countless terrorist attacks, yeah. and i disgusted by how one religion doesn't respect another. So I try to create a world without terrorism. And I'm trying to make one religion respect all other religions. That is so, so noble. And now let's just move to your education. So uh, about your life, how do you feel? I mean, uh, what do you feel as a prodigy? I mean, when you recognize, like we're here to celebrate you. So um, just, uh, just how do you feel? I mean, uh, how do you generally feel about this, uh, that you're different from other children? You're much greater, or you you have an intellect that's, yeah. If it's uh, uh, from a really big corporation, I I feel a little exhilarated oh. from that honor. Okay, why do you feel that? It's an honor to be recognized by international corporation. Yeah. And uh, what were you named after? I, I see there's an Isaac in your name, so is it after Isaac Newton? Yeah, uh, but my middle name wasn't originally Isaac. Okay. It was Patek. Oh. Well, uh, a retired, a retired plane pilot oh, yeah. named Mafudur Ramna started to watch my videos yeah. because about 50 years ago yeah. he was studying something complicated about uh, yeah. dynamics. dynamics I don't really okay. remember yeah. uh, but he started studying about something complicated Okay. but that was 50 years ago and when he saw that 50 years later some two year old was teaching it on the internet he started uh, to watch my videos Wow, that's so and great. Yeah. And he, uh, he thought that I should be named after Sir Isaac Newton, yes. the prodigy that started solving math problems when he was a child. Yes, and you are a perfect image for that. And uh, think about that. So uh, what do you think you'll do in the future? I mean, uh, going ahead, do you see us, us yourself somewhere in the future? Uh, I mean, let's say, just say five years down the line, what, what would you be doing? Where do you see yourself? Um, did you not get the question? Uh, I really see myself getting more and more interviews and going to university. Going to university? Any universities in your mind? Uh, I would be 12 years old. And I heard a 16-year-old was working at NASA. Oh, so you want to work at NASA? Day. No. Uh, I really want to teach as a physics professor. Oh, so he wants to be a physics professor. So what field of physics do you like? I mean, uh, wh wh where do you want to see yourself? Motion or uh, maybe astrophysics? Or where do you see yourself? I mean, what, what do you see? Uh, I see you, myself. Uh, or do you love uh, physics as it is? It, yeah. What perspective do I like uh, physics the most? Mm, That's right. Really? M motion, like kinematics and dynamics. Yeah, so um, I heard. I was studying the roller coasters and I was also studying the mo movement and acceleration of things like Atwood's machine. You probably have heard of it, right? A little bit. I'm not such a good person like you. So um, let's just. Uh, so um, just tell me about what inspires you to. Uh, 
I mean write as well as do such complicated maths and physics? Well, it all started when I was one year old. One year old. Yeah. Actually, when it, uh, it, I was two years old, I think. I got two interviews, as I said, okay. both focusing on chemistry. Okay. And I was able to solve all of the questions that were focused on chemistry. And all of the questions. And especially the periodic table ones. So they were the most easy for me. All but right. that, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, so many different fields. Chemistry, physics, mathematics, and also book writing. So, oh, what else do you plan to do? I mean, in life, yeah. I also plan to write a book a few years later about uh, trying to eliminate math anxiety. Okay. Plan to do that. Okay, so uh, do, do you think people are anxious of maths? Well, the other day I was watching TEDAD and I heard about something called math anxiety in which uh, people think they're not smart enough to s solve even a simple m math question. Right, so, uh, 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 so you do not feel that people do, uh, do have that anxiety and uh, everybody can do maths? Yeah, Okay. but tw uh, nonetheless, 20% of the population has math anxiety. That means every one in five people has math anxiety. All right, so um, for the children and the adults having a math anxiety, can you tell to the camera once? one inspiring message that you that you'd like to deliver that you don't have to be scared of mathematics or physics or chemistry or anything that is full of information yeah try to persevere in the subject you're learning don't give up very quickly that's how you can get rid of your math anxiety because math anxiety means even if you try hard, you think you're still not going to get the problem right. But that, that's an incorrect philosophy. If you try enough, eventually you will get it right. Yeah. So, and what, what uh, uh, among that, so how is your family guiding everything that uh, you're doing? So how are they supportive and what are they doing to uh, encourage you? I just really like to do math, physics, and chemistry. Right. It seems to be really fun for me for some reason. Okay, so how is your family supporting all of this? What's their reaction? How many people are there in your family? Yeah. In my inner family, mostly f four. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a brother. Yeah. I ha have one brother. I have my mom, my dad, and myself. That's so great. And uh, uh, just, uh, well, just uh, coming back to, you've been recognized by President Obama. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, recently you've also published your book. And uh, where, what, uh, after becoming a physics professor, which is the field that you'd like to explore more? I mean, where would you like to go uh, or do you have changing plans for the because uh, you're diving into different fields yeah uh, I really dive into physics and coding that's what I'm recently doing right now you're doing coding yeah coding and physics C++ coding to be exact all right so uh, yeah just continue about it okay uh, can you tell me uh, so you simulate stuff using your C++ C++ is really a, th a thing for calculators or yeah. the things you want to say. You can print Hello World or yeah. something. So, uh, I mean, uh, how are you relating uh, programming languages with uh, uh, physics? Yeah. Uh, really, I solve physics problems and then I try to recreate a compiler that can solve them nearly... Uh, 10 or, or, uh, 10 or 100 times quicker in like a, a millisecond. I try to design those and that's really easy because you all you need to do is command the compiler to do so and boom, it just shows you the answer. That's so great. Using technology for physics, that's so important in this world and people are doing it and he's doing it such 
a young age. And uh, since this is the Global Child Prod Disease Award and you, we are celebrating you, so there will be a lot of people and a lot of children who will be taking inspiration from you right now. So just, just one line, just one line for every child out there that wants to try something that is out of, uh, I mean that is uh, at your level, uh, I mean, he wants to do more mathematics. He wants to do more uh, chemistry. And how that is at a yeah. very advanced level. Yeah. Intermediate. So just one line for all of the people that you uh, that will be watching you through this. <sighs> Persevere in every subject, as I said, because if a subject is very hard for you, eventually you get a problem in that subject, right? And you can continue on from there until you know most of that subject. Yeah. So my message is just persevere.